If you were to ask me what my favorite species of shark was, you know, I wouldn't know exactly. Sharks are absolutely fascinating creatures, with amazing and unique diversity within them. There are hundreds of different species, from ones smaller than pencils, to ones that rival whales. Ones with whip-like tails, to ones with cute little faces, to ones that are social and make childhood friends and buddies. For me, my top three would probably be amongst the quite alien and rare ones that are elusive even to marine biologists. The ones that spend almost their entire lives in those pitch black depths. The truly bizarre Megamouth, of which one was caught through bycatch in Japan on February 7th, 2020. Perhaps the first time we have seen the species since 2016 or 2017. The Goblin Shark, which I was completely unaware could grow giant some exceptional individuals, reaching lengths larger than most great whites at 20 feet long. But maybe my absolute favorite for really dumb reasons that will become clear in a few minutes has to be the cookie cutter shark. Hello there guys, welcome to another shorter installment of Trey the Explainer. Ever since my Jaws video, I've had sharks on the brain, so you might have more shark related content coming your way depending on how motivated I am between bigger projects. The cookie cutter shark also known as the cigar shark, is amongst the smallest and least known species of shark out there. Not much larger than a pencil, they're interesting little buggers. Because we know so little about them. Most often seen dead amongst commercial fish caught in deep sea fishing nets, few have actually ever been seen alive. They can be found in oceans all around the world, but particularly in waters close to islands. Cutters spend most of their lives kilometers down, beneath the waves only to migrate up closer to the surface around dusk and descend back down around sunrise. They do this every day, like some kind of aquatic vampire bat. They belong to an ancient order of tired and sad-looking sharks, rarely encountered by humans, like the pocket shark and sleeper shark. Perhaps among some of the oldest and longest living vertebrates out there, some individuals suspected to live for upwards of 500 years. With a smooth cylindrical body, a blunt snout, and large goofy eyes, at first sight they appear harmless, and even may be a little cute. But make no mistake, these fish hide a dark secret, a dastardly, but also adorable smile. Much of what we know about cookie cutters is often inferred through, well, their very unique and slightly creepy method of survival. That's right, these sharks are parasites. Massive binocular eyes allow it to see in near darkness, perfect for a nocturnal hunter. Their jaws, filled with small serrated teeth on the top, and gigantic lower teeth, proportionally the largest in any living shark on the bottom, give the shark a distinctive grin and serves to dig into the flesh of its often much larger prey. Coupled with large fleshy lips that create a suction-like effect that seals the little dude tight against an animal's skin, the fish carves trunks out of the flesh like an electric buzz saw or carving knife. Once fed, the shark detach from the prey and return to the darkness, leaving a small circular crater-like wound in the skin, taking a cookie-like chunk with them, hence the shark's name. The fish had probably been well known to sailors and fishers for thousands of years, despite not ever actually being seen due to the culling card they leave on their victims. From whales, to seals, to dolphins, to tuna, to even great white sharks, Nothing is safe from a cookie cutter. Even stupid human divers swimming between islands at night can receive an occasional nip from a cookie. Sometimes you'll see marine animals completely covered in these marks, as if attacked by dozens of aquatic mosquitoes. Oh, also, did I mention the glow in the dark? Cookie cutters produce the strongest bioluminescence of any shark, glowing a greenish blue that serves to counter illuminate the organism, making it virtually invisible apart from a dark collar near its gills. This dark collar of non-glowing skin is said to work like a lure to attract prey like squid, as it mimics the shape and size of a small, unsuspecting fish. It is only when this would-be predator realizes its error does the cookie cutter reveal itself. But wait a second, I clicked on this video because of the title. What does this little dessert preparation utensil shark have to do with the United States military? Well, it all started back in the 1970s. During the height of the Cold War, as tensions between the US and the Soviet Union were at their most dangerous, something was damaging United States nuclear submarines in the Pacific Ocean. Despite being hundreds of feet long, weighing thousands of tons, and armed with ballistic missiles, 
The neoprene boots of BQR-19 sonar domes of these vessels were commonly sustaining cuts and scrapes, which caused the sound transmitting oil inside to leak and impaired navigation. Rubber sheathed electric cables used to ensure safety during submarine surfacing were also damaged with chunks taken out of them. In the 1980s, as many as 30 United States Navy submarines were forced back to base to repair these damages. Military contractors scrambled to figure out what the culprit of these damages were. A secret Soviet weapon specifically designed to cripple submarines was feared. Little did the Americans know that as it turns out the Russians were having the same exact problem with their own naval equipment. It was only later discovered that it was not an unknown weapon that was to blame, but a glowing little boy no bigger than a cod. Cookie cutters were wrecking havoc on these submarines. The sharks, perhaps thinking they had found the juiciest whales ever, latched on undetected and took bites out of the soft rubber and neoprene sections of the vessels. This was perhaps unsurprising, as these sharks had for decades prior been chewing up the complex network of undersea cables by which countries separated by oceans communicated with one another. Fiberglass coating was a solution used by the United States to prevent any further damage caused by these little boogers. And it appears this has worked. The cookie cutter is not alone, though. Many sea creatures are known to attack and disable military naval equipment from time to time. The USS Stein, a destroyer escort ship was apparently attacked in 1978 by an unknown species of giant squid. The sonar dome, seemingly a favorite for denizens of the deep, was covered in cuts which contained the remains of sharp curved claws or teeth, similar to those found on the suction cups of some squids. However, these claws were much larger than those of any squid discovered at that time. As stated by the United States Naval Institute, if a squid was indeed responsible for the damage, and there seems to be no other likely explanation, then it must have been extremely large and of a species still unknown to science. As far as I know, this soft-bodied, slimy attacker of the USS Stein has still not been identified to this day. We must ask ourselves, do they live among us? But I digress. Make no mistake, for a short period of time, just remember these things were disabling entire submarines armed with nukes. Truly, the shark is mightier than the sub. Hey, come closer. Come closer. Impede the military industrial complex. Oh, cookie cutter sharks, you truly are symbols of anarchism. And that is why I love this lovable little shark. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this fishy installment of Trey the Explainer. I hope to make a much longer and uh, more detailed video for the future. Take this as a holdover between that time. Subscribe for more sciencey content in the future. I hope to see you next time and have a great rest of your day.